this is fun. Um, this is a fun question. Uh, Amy Clarkin said, do you develop plot first or characters first when writing your scripts? I think for this, specifically Wayward Guide, it, it was fun to kind of create a, a lot of characters first because we knew this was going to be a very character-centric show. We were going to know it was going to a lot of what the draw for it and what we were excited about was bringing in so many different people. So when we came up with the concept, it was like, well, let's think of characters now to fill out this world and fill out this concept. And, um, and then, uh, and then from there on, it was like kind of piecing together what the plot of the show is, which is somewhat complicated, but also not as much as our other shows, just because, I don't know, there's, there's still tons of mystery in it, but, but trying to base it all around characters so we can have these characters do funny things, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, Mary Schlipp, Schlipp asked how we come up with character ideas, um, I don't know, when you're thinking of townspeople, it's just, like, other things that influence and, and inspire us about different crazy townsfolk. So, any movies or shows we might have watched that have crazy townspeople? Um, I feel like I watched something, uh, like Twin Peaks. Does it, if hopefully people watch Twin Peaks, the original, the new one is super weird and also really good. But the old Twin Peaks, when it focuses on Twin Peaks, there's a lot of just crazy townspeople in Twin Peaks. And they're like a lot of weird characters who are very quirky. Um, uh, so I think that's a show that when I was coming up with character names and people, and we were kind of that was something I was thinking about a lot. Um, yes, maybe we'll do some Disney challenges. That would be fun coming up. Um, but yeah, guys. Uh, sorry, I'm checking to see if there's any more. Yeah, guys. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. We're, um, oh, PETA2777 also just said something Slytherin proc on Twitter. Who's the most excited for Wayward Guide? I'm pretty excited. I mean, I think, I think Mary Kate's pretty excited. Uh, Mary Kate is, Mary Kate, when we told her about Sean, asked, and Mary Kate, she, she's just, um, she just tweeted about it earlier, but she said she dropped what she was doing and spun around in circles, and she did. It was really, it was really funny. Uh, we were over at their house, and she was like, <laughs> and it was, it was, it was really great. Uh, so, yeah, I think, um, can you pronounce my name? Naim. Naim? Oh, I'm sorry. Star underscore shook. Naim. Anyways, I'm, I'm bad. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, so anyways, guys, uh, yes, um, I think she, what was she holding, though? She was holding, she was in her, she was in her kitchen and I was in her dining room. So she was holding like either like a cup or something. It didn't shatter. It was fine. Nothing broke. Um, um, shiny happiness. Uh, oh, we would love to take some pictures of those paintings. We'll do, we'll do so soon. We, we got, we, uh, we, they're really, really beautiful. Corey, we're close to 32. Here we go. Um, guys, we really got to figure out who we're going to announce yet. Um, but, uh. But yeah, guys. Did I get it? Oh, I did get it. Okay. Um. Wait, guys. Oh, is everything okay? Is everything okay? I am. I'm sorry. Do you want me to keep doing it? We're gonna be sending that. We are. Yeah. Okay. And but we're going to. I won't say where. But we still have to call mom, right? Yes. Okay. We have to call mom at five. Okay. Sorry. So you're hearing about all my plans. You're hearing about all my plans right now. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, guys. So this is great. I might, I might need to sign off soon. Um, we are very, very close. Thirty-two would be awesome to hit. Um, but uh, um, yeah, guys. So uh, um, let's. Where are some questions? I'm, am I am I missing questions on Twitter or something? I'm, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, guys. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Sean just tweeted about the show. That's fun. What a good man. Um. So, anyways, guys, 
Um, what's going on? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm losing steam a little bit. Uh, uh, yes, okay, hold on. Do some just notice, just regular question, question rounds. Um, question was your favorite role you've ever had in your whole life. Um, uh, I really liked playing Satan in the Judas shows. That was one of my favorite roles I've ever gotten to play in, in last day's Judas State uh, scary. Um uh Ooh Corey Dream Roll. Oh my god. Um hmm. Probably, you know, if they if they did another Aladdin remake, the genies, that I can really round out my genie trifecta. I can be three be three genies in my life. That'd be pretty fun. Um, can you tell the story about playing a hobo? What is she talking about? That's a, okay, right now? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Corey, my least favorite song to sing? Oh my god. Honestly, it's really hard to sing Harry Freakin' Potter. Every time we add it to a set list, I know it's a great favorite, but Harry Freakin' Potter is a really hard song to sing because it's so high and it starts high right away. Um, so that's always a hard song to sing. Um, most embarrassing stage moment. Remus Lupin. Uh, maybe this is this. Maybe this is the hobo story that. Uh, that someone asked about. I was in a basement art show in Michigan. It was actually someone's directing thesis, and I fell asleep on stage, and then I was crawling across the stage as a homeless character, and I slipped on a piece of newspaper and slammed my face into the floor and got a nosebleed. So that sucked. Um, uh, Kay Mike's, what was it like filming the Time Jerker episodes on Henry Danger? It was really fun. Um, I had a crazy costume. So I had those insane contacts, too. And I wear glasses, but I couldn't wear those contacts over my contacts. So I was blind pretty much the whole time. Not blind, but I couldn't see very clearly. So I was, um, so I, I'm nearsighted, so I can see close up, but I can't see that far away. Like, I can see the str I can read the stream, can read the stream, can't read the stream. So that's why I need these glasses. So it was really fun. I had a crazy costume. It took, like, over two hours to get into that hair and makeup, which was pretty awesome. So that was a really fun time, and that was a great great team of people and we got to do some fun fight choreo um worst costume i ever had uh in a play in michigan i had to it wasn't a costume really but i had to shave the top part of my head all this here uh for a, a wig bit and it was terrible um film geek film underscore geek a56 how do you stay motivated with your projects um honestly I think having projects be challenging like this one helps keep you motivated because there's so much you have to think about. There's so much you have to continue to do um, to make it work. Uh, so I think challenging yourselves with projects, and if we did the same thing over and over again and did the same kind of projects, I mean, I think I would get bored a little bit easier. It's fun to keep challenging ourselves and to keep doing things that, um, that, uh, that, that make it, make it to, Mm. back uh, uh, so I think challenges keep us motivated so that was pretty cool um, Star Kid Trash 394 what was your least favorite Star Kid role oh my god um, I don't really have a least favorite I enjoy them all I've had a, a, an amazing time on every show especially for different reasons because I've got to do very different fun things things um god I, that's a really hard question i don't know how to do it i i loved playing joey richter in me and my dick but i was super sick i wish i could have a do-over on that show basically that's my least favorite performance encapsulated on film for me because i wish i could have a do-over because i was super i was super sick when i um when we recorded the album so i wish i could have a do because that was uh, yeah so anyways Favorite Star Kid song that I don't sing? Totally awesome. Chris, um, I was Harry Potter from a Harry Potter senior. I love it. I think that's like one of the most beautiful songs we've ever, um, we've ever done. 
Um, Jemaine, ninety-eight. Will you ever be working with? Will you or Stark be working with Darren Chris ever again? Who knows? You know. Hopefully, hopefully he's he's not so busy in his life that he can work with some friends sometimes. That'd be fun. It'd be fun to work with him again. Um, there's a lot of questions. Uh, Ash Badash, what was your audition process for Michigan like? It was it was quick. I was in a hotel room with Malcolm Tulip, one of my professors in San Francisco, because I auditioned in San Francisco for some reason, and, uh, yeah, I did two monologues, they gave me some coaching on one, and that was it, it was, I did, it was great, uh, LeakyCon was, was a blast, it was super fun, okay, Anisi underscore, anything new coming up, yes, the Wayward Guide for the Untrained Eye, which is the whole reason I'm live streaming right now, um, it's a 10 episode web series, 10 episode podcast that we are producing, uh, the Tin Can Brothers are producing, writing and producing, ton of cast members. If you head to www.wayward.guide and go to the Kickstarter page, see all the people involved. we got Mary-Kate Weil, Steve Garrett Zaragoza, Nick Lang is in this thing. I'm really excited to work with Nick Lang as an actor, um, again, because he's so damn funny. John Cozart, hello, John Cozart's in this. Sean and Sinead Prasad, Clayton Snyder, Titus Macon from Glee. Um, who else? Tara Perry, who was in Flop Stoppers, um, Ashley Clements and Gabe Greenspan, um, Ashley from Les Bentires, and Gabe, who was also in Solvent Squad with us recently. Um, we also just announced Sean Aston of The Lord of the Rings and Goonies, who's going to be in this. It's amazing, guys. It's going to be crazy. So, yeah, guys, that's um, great. We're, we're so close to 32. Um, it's okay, guys, if you got to go. Cory Doris! Cory Doris! Oh, my God, we announced Cory Doris also. Um... We're really announced the 32, and we are only 59 people away from hitting 666 backers, and then Brian Holden um, can worship the campaign because of Satan. So, um, yeah, guys, we're pretty close. If we hit 32, you know, we got 18 more bucks. Is that 18? 28 more bucks. And I'm gonna stop the stream because I gotta get I gotta get going with my dad. We gotta go do some family stuff. Um, but. Uh, we're so close. Um, final question. Favorite Disney movies? I, I got a lot of favorite Disney movies. Um, the original Beauty and the Beast is really holds up and is, like, truly, truly, like, phenomenal. Also, I really like The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? What are sort of questions? Um, uh, Georgian AFK asks, how did you get Sean Astin involved? Um, he's just... Um, he, we just we just asked him. We've got a, had a good relationship with him since our uh, since our the time he joined in that panel and played Dylan Saunders, and we asked him to be involved, and he said yes, which is awesome because it's like he doesn't need to do this. He's a, he's he's an actor guy. He's a real actor, and he was so down to do it, which was just really nice. It's nice to like ask someone who is just has no business being in this and is so down to do it, which is really awesome. So, that was pretty cool. Hold on, what were you going to say? Um, Messiah Hain? Sorry, I don't know if I pronounced that, but bye-bye. Um, anyways, bye, Steph Walsh. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys for anyone if, if you're leaving. Um, so yeah, guys, I know we're real actors too, but it, it, it's nice because, uh, because he's, you know, he's a famous guy. He's in some of my favorite movies of all time. So anyways, guys, oh, we're so close. Does anyone want to go out there and help with 28 bucks? Anyone can, uh, anyone can, oh, we hit it, 3202. Nice. Hell yeah, guys. Thank you so much. We just hit it. Um, so we'll be announcing a new cast member very soon. 